This may seem like quite a daunting question with as a 12 marker, um, but as you work through it, you'll see that it's actually relatively simple. So the question is about an alarm system, which um, has the following features. When the door is opened, this is detected by a switch, which starts a siren, which stays on for five minutes. Relatively simple sort of process. And the question itself asks you to draw a systems diagram. So we need to know what a systems diagram looks like. Um, block diagrams are probably, um, you may have heard them being described as such. And we need to label each part of the system block and signal. So let's just start off with what a block diagram looks like. This simple block diagram has three parts, or three blocks rather. Uh, we'll talk about the input, the process and the output in a second. And the three blocks are joined together by arrows which represent the signals. And we go from left to right with the input first, um, and we know that the input um, in the case as described in the question is a switch, and in effect that is acting as a sensor. So the first block is represented by the input always, and in this particular case, it has a sensor which is a switch in it. The next block is the process, and this is the microcontroller, which in our case acts as a timer. And then the final block is the output, uh, which in this particular case is the siren. So we've got our three blocks, the input, the process, and the output, and they're in sequence. What we're now going to do is move on to describing the signals. So on the left hand side, we know that the first signal, the first input, the first thing that moves into the input is the door opening, which is movement, which affects the sensor. And at the very other end, we know that the output is a sound, which is the alarm. And in between those, we have electrical signals which join the sensor to the process or well, the microcontroller and the microcontroller to the siren as the output. So you can start to see that we've already built up a, quite a few marks already. Um, first of all, having understanding what a block diagram looks like, blocks with arrows between them, putting them in sequence, getting the input, the process and the output in the right order, then labeling the input, the process and the output with the right um, sections, the switch, the microcontroller and the siren, and then finally moving on to the signals. And those 12 marks add up very quickly. There's one thing we haven't really added, which um, it doesn't really affect too much. Um, and that's the, the, the timer controlling it for five minutes. But we don't need to worry too much about that at all.